one of the last missions left to tackle is the rowing machine. Let's let's go take a look at it. Now, the rowing machine is really interesting because we can move it with our finger very easily, but we have, you know, an open feedback where our brain is giving us feedback of what to do with our finger when we you know how we put it in how we grab it and move it but a robot doesn't have that we kind of have to plan for what goes wrong and you know there are four holes in this wheel and we can use any four of them with a robot finger let me let, let's look at how it works so on the front of this robot there's a, a finger it's just looks exactly like a finger and it can hit in any one of these holes to pull it back out like that, or it could keep control of it and move it into the circle and let go. Now I have a beef with this mission model anyway because of that. It shouldn't do that. And maybe I built mine wrong, but I've heard of other people who have this problem and I don't think the mission model should do that. And if yours does this in the competition, your robot performed the action. And I might suggest your students having a discussion with the referee about that mission model. Let's, let's watch the robot do it. So that is that is the, the the rowing machine mission and and just a finger. I mean, a literal finger that just pulls it back and can let go uh, easily. And maybe you can add this finger to another attachment that you already have—a tire attachment or the rack and pinion. It could just come down. You attach it permanently to the rack and pinion, and the rack and pinion can come down and move it. Uh, there are so many places you could attach this little thing. This is it, that, that is the attachment. And use it creatively. I want to know if you use this, put it down in the comments below. Tell me how successful this, this little robot finger was for you. I will see you all in the next video.